If you look at South Sudan, I would just use one word. South Sudan is, is a patriarchal country. Being that, in a, in a sense that it is a man culture, where, for example, I can give an example of, of patriarchal you know, norms, where wealth, even family wealth, can be passed down from a man to a man, which is a very complex situation. And women are only meant to work, do some other work in the house. There is a culture of, you know, high dowry here where girls, one girl can be competed over, two men or five men can compete over one girl. And you, a man that can go beyond, you know, the bills, because we place a bill, we have a dowry bill written traditionally, culturally is a norm that is passed down in different cultures of South Sudan, especially the Nilote communities. They have this, and people are invited to compete over a girl. They enter into new not it's no longer legal, but it's still being done in some communities. Because as the country just gained its independent, high independent in 2011, a lot is still in transition to take place. And deep down in some communities, who still do not know the definition of what education is, girls are being forced to marry. People are still being, you know, pushed to marry people. They didn't even talk to people who didn't even see them. You know, young girls still being pushed to that. They are being beaten. In this throughout the war from 2013, 2016, women have suffered. They are displaced and they are exposed now to, to, to the situation of war where they are raped, where they are beaten, where they become more vulnerable, you know, because they work for the whole family that is displaced because they are not living in their original homes. They are living outside their home and they are missed a lot. So they find most of their time working, you know, trying to feed their family and being frustrated because most, people, most women actually are traumatized from war. They have lost everything, they have lost their loved one, they are being raped. Our Lord Jesus Christ, where there is no peace, and care for one. May there be an end to division. Lord, inspire us with your example.